how to create an auto incrementing number field within Dataverse, which is similar to identity in SQL Server. So let's see how we do this in Dataverse. So I'm going to add a new column here and I'm going to call this auto incremented auto incremented number. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to pick auto number. Now it's not what you're probably used to. Okay. Because it's going to be a string. Okay. You can prefix your number with a string, a date prefix number. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I mean, even if I were to pick a date prefix number, okay, uh, you see how there's dashes in there? And um, so this, is, it's going to be a string, okay? Now, that's actually not a bad idea to use a date f uh, format like this. Um, you know, you've got your auto incrementing number here, which is uh, nice. Um, but let's let's change this to like eight so we can have a really big number in there or um you know or we could just take this completely out okay so we got a lot of different choices there now if i said string prefixed number whatever i type here let's um call this id dash you know and there's two dashes so let me take that dash out so you can have something like that uh let's take a look at custom okay so you can add a sequential number, okay, add a date time format, add a random string to format. That oh, that's sort of cool. <laughs> so you can do a lot of cool stuff. I just don't like that it's a string, but um, okay, so I'm gonna hit string and prefix number. And you could put some here if you want or not. Um <clears throat> now if I put in here eight, see that we've got um, the prefixed, you know, you, you have leading zeros, um, which you may or may not want. Okay. But you know what we could do? This would be, um, uh, hundreds of thousands. And this would be two digit, two digit, uh, millions. So. Let's start off with, let's do 10 million. One, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I'll keep hitting zeros at the end. <laughs> so it, it moves it uh, there to the beginning. Okay. So if you don't like the um, beginning um, leading zeros, uh, just in case you were to, typecast that into a number, you would have lost all those zeros. Okay. So that's why I sort of like this. And I also like it because every single ID will have so many characters inside of it. You know, if this was a, a an integer, you know, it could have all kinds of digits as many as it uh, builds up to. Right. So let's go into advanced options here. Max character count. Well, how many <laughs> how many characters do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course I have eight. There's the eight right there. Okay. So max character character count. Let's put eight there. Um just be prepared for uh, you can't have any more than um 99 million. 999,999. <laughs> it's still a big number. Uh, probably for most people's cases, that's completely, uh, it's going to work just fine. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save. I'm going to show you and, and for an ID like this, we're going to use it like an ID. I would make this sortable, searchable, uh, anything like that so that, um, you can do those things. So it builds an index on this one. So 
I'm going to hit save. And this was just a test table. It's literally called test table. <laughs> now, do realize that a Dataverse table does create a primary key for you, even though it tries to fool you to say it'll, it'll try to give you a name column and it will call it the primary name column. Uh, what that should be used for is if you were going to select a record out of this table and they were presented in uh, a drop down list and that's what you would want to be displayed in there. So that's what I recommend. You see, see it has a name here. OK, so um, there every table gets a column that is the primary key and it's indexed and it is a GUID, a globally unique identifier. OK, so let's show that, too. OK, and it's always the same. The column name is the same name as the table name. How about that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the alphabet here or start to. OK. All right. So what do you think? There's the auto number and here's all of the un globally unique identifiers. The end looks very similar. But if you look at the prefix here, this is all different. Guys, if you like this bite size or should I say pocket sized content like this, you're going to be very interested in the personal pocket coaching where you get a bite size, pocket size video content sent to your email box every morning. 365 videos within a year. Can you imagine how much you would learn about a Power Apps and the Power Platform? All the video content spread out all over the year. And this is content that you could consume. Maybe you're in a car ride or you're waiting in the waiting room at a doctor's office or hair appointment or hey, maybe if you're on the toilet. <laughs> so take a look at all these topics that have been covered, starting with we actually started the program on Christmas Eve of last year. Look at all these topics. Uh, first of all, this is the most popular video doing animation in power apps with a red ball. We cover modern controls, the distinct function, the lookup function. I mean, we cover all kinds of stuff here, guys. Let's take a look at February. There's all kinds of good stuff in here. So guys, don't miss out on this content. I'll have a link in the description below. I believe that you'll love it.